Meantime, police continue their probe into that double homicide of a mother and daughter in Nassau Village this week. The young girl's father spoke to our Altavis Munnings today about his loss. Two days after Alicia Sawyer and her young daughter Edney were killed here at their residence on Stack Avenue, we met family members cleaning up the property. Here we spoke with Edney's father, who told us he's very distraught by the incident. Early that morning, around about seven something, I got a call from her sister, telling me that uh, my daughter was laying in the bed, but she could see blood coming from her neck, and her mother was laying on the floor with blood coming from her. And so I told her I was on my way. And Edward Wallace's life hasn't been the same. He remembers the last time he spoke with his eight-year-old daughter, who he says was very full of life. Just the night before this happened, that she called me around about nine o'clock. She asked me to speak to her other brother and her sister. I told her they was in the tub. They didn't let her call them back. And then she said, OK, Daddy, I love you. That was the last time I hear from her. But she was a very nice, sweet, loving little girl. And anybody who knows her or sees her, she was always screaming just and even she'd run hug. And that was her. The crime scene tape and damage to the apartment's entrance and door are still visible. A blood-stained mattress is another piece of this tragedy family members had to painstakingly remove as they cleared the victim's belongings from the home they lived at since January. Oh, she's living with me. Actually, the stuff where they're taking out the house now is my stuff because I was going through a situation where I had to move and I'm staying by my mother's in law. And because of that situation, my little girl was with her mother. My little girl actually lives with me. And because me trying to deal with that, that's why she was here. And how long was she here? My little girl was here from this pandemic start. That was in March. I can't understand somebody, whatever problems you're going through with your girlfriend or whatever relationship that you take this out on the child. And that's... That, that hurt very much. I mostly want to say thank you to the funeral home would call me on that day when it happened, Cornish Mortuary on Tony Williams Stalin Highway, and they was willing to take care of all costs. I just had to deal with the coffin and to deal with the graveyard. So personally, I really appreciate what they have done for me and my family. Alicia Sawyer was an employee at Dunkin' Donuts, and officials there have begun grief counseling for workers who continue to mourn her loss. Altavis Munnings, ZNS Network News.